A hospital in crisis. Patients sleeping on the floor, benches and wheelchairs, and others patiently waiting to be attended. The hospital is dirty, inside and outside, coupled with water shortages, posing a health hazard for patients and for their families, a difficult condition for all. So I am having a problem because of my father was admitted three days ago. He was lying on the floor with stroke. He was affected the stroke by stroke. He was lying on the floor and we had to, us as a family, to find a bed for him. They said they don't have enough beds and he's, he's in a position where he's supposed to be in ICU and then we have to we we had to find a bed for him because now even the geysers are not working there's not enough water and then we had to arrange water and the kettle just to bath him exacerbating the situation is the dilapidated building and some wards have been closed and we got whatsapp messages i receive i receive plus minus uh, 16 messages about the hospital, the treatment, the people that who died from the hospital, the patients who, who passed on, and then and, and, and a lot of things. So people now are getting s skeptic about going to a Bank hospital. The hospital says there are a lot of work-ins patients, despite being a referral hospital, and municipal challenges of water. We don't have a right to turn them back. Doctors have to see them. But you find that they are so busy attending to emergency patients. That is what you are seeing here. The hospital is true, it's full. To mitigate, the hospital says it has transferred some patients to other hospitals. But these challenges have been there for several years. Dumela Machoho, SABC News, Emalathe.